क्लास नाइन एक्सरसाइज इलेवन पॉइंट टू फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंस्ट्रक्ट ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इन विच बी सी इज सेवन सेंटीमीटर एंगल बी इज सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री एंड सम ऑफ अदर टू साइड मीन्स ए बी एंड ए सी इज थर्टीन सेंटीमीटर सो हेयर दिस इज बी सी दिस साइड इज बी ए एंड एट एंगल बी देर इज एन एंगल ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री एंड दिस इज ए सी सो टू ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू ड्रॉ अ बेस of 7 cm and name of base will be bc so let's say this is initial point b and it will mark another point c at distance of 7 cm this is point b and this point is point c now at b we have to draw an angle of 75 degree so we'll use our protector to draw an angle of 75 degree so we'll put our protector here now this line is making an angle of 0 degree this ray is making angle of 0 degree and at 75 degree we'll mark the point 70 and this point is reflecting 75 degree so this point will represent angle of 75 degree now with this point will join point b so this is an angle of 75 degree at point b you can mark it it is angle of 75 degree now question is saying that sum of ab and ac is 13 cm so sum of two side is given and particular ab is not given particularly ac is not given so in this case uh, we have to take a measurement of 13 cm so for this we will mark two points at distance of 13 cm point a point b these two points are reflecting uh, are representing distance of 13 cm now open your compass for this distance i need to open it more yeah. a little bit more so now this compass is opened uh, to make an arc of 13 cm you can see this point is at 0 and this is representing 13 cm now put your compass at point p at vertex p and cut an arc on this angle of 75 degree we got an intersection point this intersection point is point x now join this x with c next step is we will draw an perpendicular bisector of this xc so to draw an perpendicular bisector of this xc we need to open our compass more than half of the length of this xc put compass at c and draw an arc one at left side another at right side now put your compass at x and draw another arc one will here and another will cut here these two arcs are not intersecting so we need to extend this arc now we got two intersection points of these arcs so next step is join these two intersection point of the arc this perpendicular bisector of xc is intersecting this line xb at this intersection point join this point this point is point a now join this point with c
this ABC is a required triangle. Now if we talk about the proof of this triangle, so let's see. First of all, <coughs> we know that sum of BX is equal to 13 centimeter. So this AB and this AC are they equal to thir uh, x, uh, 13 centimeter or not? I need to tell only this. AB and we can see this AC is equal to XB. Proof is you can see this triangle and this triangle. These two triangles are congruent triangle. This uh, if we talk about triangle, let's say this point is uh, P. So if I talk about triangle APC and APX, you can see this is perpendicular bisector. This PA is perpendicular bisector. It means this XP is equal to this PC. This is perpendicular bisector. That's why these two angles are right angle triangles. And this side is also common. So by SAS congruency triangles are congruent and by CPCT corresponding parts of triangle is equal to corresponding part of another triangle. It means AX is equal to AC and AB is fixed. So instead of AX, we have drawn AC and you can see that a BX was 13 centimeter. So this is the diagram. This is the construction of uh, question number one. Steps you can write. Uh, steps you can write in your own language in which first step will be draw BC equal to 7 centimeter. At B, draw an angle of 75 degree. XB is 13 centimeter. And uh, then we draw, we joined X with C. And after joining X with C, we will draw a perpendicular bisector of XC. This perpendicular bisector of X is cutting, uh, is intersecting this XB at point A. Join this point A with C. And ABC is your required triangle.